Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and today's tutorial we're going to go ahead and uh, style the label that we worked on in the previous tutorial and we're going to focus on uh, changing the font um, changing the font color and changing the background color of the label. Um, there's many other styles that we can go with and we'll learn them as we go but these are the main ones that you'll probably be adjusting within your um, application or program. Um, now let's go ahead and just change the uh, font itself. Uh, we can change it by manually changing it by saying hey we want like uh, times um, which is a font type uh, the size by like uh, pixels so like 20 would give us 20 pixels um, we can change the weight we can say bold um, we can make it italic we can make it underlined that's all um, very easy but there's also another option that we can do and that's preset fonts in TK Inner. so that's the first thing we're going to look at and then we'll look at how to manually change them so let's go ahead and just uh, change uh, the font using the preset fonts that TK Enter uh, provides us so the way to do this is um, inside the label method here um, we're going to go ahead and add another parameter and that parameter is called font and we set it equal to a string and in that string we're going to give it the preset name now <clears throat> the preset names on our website and I will include a link in the description below um, you can go ahead and check out I believe there's nine or ten of them that uh, we can use um, so let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of them let's uh, do uh, TK fixed font and see what that gives us. So let's go ahead and fire up our uh, program here. Python 3 first window.py will run our program. And here's our pro program. Uh, the font looks a little different. So let's go ahead and close that program. And let's uh, put a different one in there. So we got TK fixed font. Let's try uh, TK heading font. Now, a lot of these serve a specific purpose, like uh, heading font. Um, is used for like headings in a column or something like that but you don't have to always use them you can set your own like I said before so let's run this one and see what this one does now that's you know it looks a little different than the uh, TK fix font but it's not much of a heading font so yeah they provide you with some presets and the reason for the presets um, from what I understand is they're the same across each operating system from Mac to Linux to Windows so they're the same so you know it's always going to look the same now if you get into like customizing your fonts it may look a little different I mean go ahead and play with it and see what you, what you can do um, I don't have a Windows machine or a Linux machine so I can't really elaborate on what the difference would be but that's my understanding so let's go ahead and close out our program now let's go ahead and manually adjust these this is what I tend to do more often than not um, so what we want to do <clears throat> is change the type of font so let's go ahead and use uh, times and this is kinda like a newspaper font uh, if you guys worked in um, web design you know you know what times is so let's go ahead and run that and see what that looks like and as you can see it's a little bit smaller it's a it's a um, typewriter type font alright so we made that change and now let's go ahead and take a look at making it a little bit bigger because that seemed very small so let's go 24 pixels so we'll get, get and save that um, oops. run our program again ooh there we go now it's a little bit easier to read that now that looks more like a heading font versus the preset that we just looked at alright so hello from the label widget is a lot bigger and uh, nicer looking but I think it needs to be a little bit more uh, standout-ish so let's make it bold um, kill our program and let's go ahead and make it bold so bold I mean how simple can this be we just virtually type in what we want to do so uh, now it's bold 
pretty sweet, right? Now I want to stand out a little bit more, so let's make it uh, italic. So next one to be italic. I was forgot how to spell it there for a second. And run our program again. Boom. Ah, now it's italic. It's starting to look really good, right? Um, and let's underline it to make sure make sure it is definitely a standout text. And we'll just do underline. Get and save our program, and run it one more time. Boom! Now it's underlined. How good does that look? And how simple is it to set your um, your settings here? So, say we wanted to take out italic. So we just take it out, save our program, and go ahead. Oh, gotta close it out run it again and boom there you go now it's not italic but it's still bold and underlined so it's pretty simple to work with all right so <clears throat> now we got our uh, our font the way we want it as like kind of like a heading font let's go ahead and change the color of it so it even stands out more to change the color we're going to use another parameter called FG for and that stands for uh, foreground and we're going to set a color. Um, there's two different ways to do this. You can either uh, set it by calling the color name, which is like red, yellow, blue, green. Um, but you're limited on your colors. You got one specific color for red, one specific color for blue, and so on. Um, so um, another way to do it is use the RGB. RGB, if you've done web design, um, you would understand what that is we pick a color that it looks like a um, a code so we'll take a look at that in a second but for now let's go ahead and make a color let's say red so we're gonna change the color of this font to red so we go ahead and run our program again ah red looks good right so let's go ahead and use an RGB color um, uh, if I knew it off the top of my head, um, I'm gonna pull up over here. Here we go. Oh, let's go ahead and use RGB. Now, RGB is uh, the pound sign, then the numbers after it. So, 001 DFF. I'm not really sure what color that is, but that's what I used in the written tutorial. So, let's see what it does. Um, run our program ah oh, blue looks good huh so we'll leave that in blue and let's say we want to change the background to uh, another color and it's basically the same as we just did all right and we're gonna go ahead and change the background to uh, blue we got blue so we'll change it to red so to change the background we add another parameter BG equal to and let's go ahead and use a another uh, RGB color and we'll use FFE 500 now you can use the color name here too as well with the BG but we'll use the um, this color which I used in the written tutorial I don't know what it is either so we'll find it might be a yellow. Uh, it's a yellow. So we got the yellow background and a blue font. So <clears throat> our tutorial is getting a little long there, so we'll stop it here. Now you know how to change your fonts around, change the colors. Um, mess around with the font a little bit. Try to change it to a different type of font. Um, also change the colors. That will help you learn it a little bit better. And then we'll. Uh, continue style a little bit more we'll add a little bit more style to our our label widget before we move on to the next tutorial and if you have any questions leave a comment on youtube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share it we'll see you in the next one